So we're going to go to the doctor. We're going to see what's going on with me. I'm very worried and uh, uh, stressed out. I'm not stressed out to the matter. I'm very stressed out. I am not sleeping. I wasn't eating. And so, and then I'll feel hungry. I go, I feel hungry. I'll make a mukbang. And the mukbangs are helping me. I'm eating real big or I'm eating little bits. And I'm getting all my calories in. I worked on it every day. I'm getting all my calories in. You know? And, uh. Now is not the time to try to lose weight or anything. Just focus on my mental health. Focus on my physical health. But um, I just want to lose weight anyway. I want to be able to do these walks and talks. But if my blood pressure is high, I can't physically do it. My, uh, my heart goes too fast. I don't want to get a stroke. <laughs> I want to be alive. I, want, I don't want to pass away on you all. So... My kids need me. My husband needs me. Uh, people need me. They'd flip out <laughs> if I just, you know, had a heart attack because I was too uh, pressured or pushed around by YouTubers or people that watch YouTube uh, pushing me around to, to, uh, they're obsessed with me losing weight or being thin. I'm never going to be thin. I don't want to be, <laughs> I don't want to be, thin. I don't look good thin. I just don't. I look good with weight on me and I know how I look. I don't want to have sallow skin and old looking, um, droopy skin. And that's how it gets if you drop a bunch of weight and you, you know, starve yourself and do all this crazy crap that people, they're just nuts. So I'm dealing with a bunch of schizophrenic sociopaths, psychopaths, narcissists on YouTube, a lot of narcissists, a lot of sociopaths, um, just crazy, absolutely insane, crazy people, really no heart and very selfish, a lot of greedy people, I mean, who invites themselves over when yet? Yeah, you have a passing of the person that owns the house. I mean, it's some really sick shit that I've been dealing with. And, uh, yeah, I just never meet anyone. Uh, a recluse? I don't know if I'm a recluse. I was before in the past, but I like to isolate myself. And I, I just like to hang around uh, really nice, classy people dressed in business suits, nice, fancy high heels. They're all professionals here. <laughs> They're professionals, you know. They're not, you know, slobs that don't comb their hair. You know, they have makeup and the men have suits on, suits and ties. Um, just professionals, you know. And uh, if I work out with a trainer, the trainer is professional or work out with the Esmeralda. You know, we always look, she always looks professional, and, um, yeah, the secretaries are all professional, <laughs> suits and skirts and things like that, and, um, now the workers or painters or workers or stuff like that would be different, they would have a work hat, and they would have you know, jeans and a shirt, and you know, but they comb their hair and they're well groomed and everything. And uh, they just work hard, hard working people, just like myself, you know. But yeah, so that's where I'm at. And the video needs to be made. I need to make a lot of these kind of videos. Um, these videos need to be made. I don't care about views or likes. I, I don't give a rat's ass about likes or dislikes. If you know me by now, I never, I've never cared. It means zero to me. Um, I just like sometimes I'll say, give it a like to show other YouTubers that all I have to do is ask and I'll get, I'll receive whatever I want, you know. So, um, yeah. Um, 
I don't think some of the YouTubers deserted or abandoned me. They still watch me. But uh, I'm, I'm super disappointed in a few of them. Uh, they just a no show or they're just a no show or they come in and, uh, and then some of them ask a lot of personal questions. This is none of their damn business. And I know, yeah, I wouldn't in a million years if someone had their mom or dad to ask them a million questions asking about their husband or a wife or or kids or you just say you just watch the whole video and if you like it you give it a thumbs up and then you make a nice comment and you'll be on your way you know but um some of these people are mentally ill excuse me in the capacity of maybe they don't have any friends and i have a lot of friends but they just just they sort of deserted me. I don't know what's going on, you know. Um, so I don't know what's going on because usually they stick to me like glue. So I don't know what's going on with them. I'll have to figure it out. But what's more important is me just taking care of myself and my health and well-being. And uh, yeah, if they desert me, I'm a tough woman. I don't care. Let them desert me, <laughs> you know. They're missing out. You know, they're missing out. And, um, yeah, so. Um, yeah, that's about all. I finished all my food. I'm just having my mango lassi from Super India. It's a really great store. I really like Indian food. <laughs> um, yeah, Nasty Comas talking about my skin tomato red or apple now I find it I just erase it I find it quite funny and stupid and um, it's pretty cruel if you're making fun of someone whose blood pressure got, gets high when they're exercising and trying to lose weight or just exercising just trying to put groceries away and stuff like that is hard for me and it, it makes my uh, heart work really fast and we've been noticing in the past few days, I haven't felt good. I haven't felt good in weeks. I haven't felt, I feel, I felt like crap for weeks. I haven't felt good. There'll be little moments I feel euphoric or a little bit. The subliminals help. I don't know what I would do without them. But I, I basically straight out felt like crap for weeks. Uh, ever since my dad died. And while he was alive the last few weeks, my body hurt and stuff like that but ever since my dad died it's just my world is gone <laughs> yeah i've just felt like crap there's no one there for me i'm i'm sick and tired of it so i have the capacity to go hire hire people uh if i have to hire friends i hire friends <laughs> whatever i gotta do um to be happy and healthy and um I'll professional go to a professional grief counselor, or therapist, and doctors, and I'll be going to dentists and all that too in the future. But I'm, um, you know, I'm tired of giving. It's like being your dead horse, giving advice to other YouTubers to try to help them. You know, with um, yellow crusty nails, or or um, they have. They they have aches and pains, and I've told them many times about the Epsom salt baths and get you know why don't you purchase a jacuzzi bath or a big bathtub, you know, or uh, you know people go in you can get buy a house or um, get your own, you know have your own pool or stay at a mom or dad's house like I do like I did stay at someone's house and help them and. Uh, use their pool and jacuzzi but it falls on deaf ears and they even said they have no plans on ever learning to swim or or um, sitting in jacuzzi baths or a bath bomb they might try a bath bomb but soaking in the bath bombs so I'm sticking with people that do the bath bomb videos I've been watching those and liking those and they can be on any side, especially women that are bigger. I really, I really admire that because it's helping me, you know, 
So I got a bunch of like from Dollar Tree. I got from expensive places in San Francisco, healing bath salts. And, and that's what I was doing when my dad passed away. I was making videos to heal my, uh, my whole body hurt so bad. And, and then the next day I started crying. I started feeling sorrow and uh, wasn't allowed to talk about it. And uh, thinking back, that's really cruel of the aunt to, to not let me talk about it, but it's, it's fine. I could talk about it a week later, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna be talking about it. I follow a few people on YouTube. They don't even know I follow them and watch their grief type grief things and it does help. Oh, it's raining right now. That's good, that'll help me too. I love it when it rains. It's pretty, it's raining. So, okay, well, I have all these appointments and professionals, like I said, there's professionals that take pictures of the house. And, um, I, I did a, an amazing job um, filming for my dad every day. You know, he was alive that I was here for five years. I did an absolute incredible job. And not one day do I regret um, being his little legs and arms and going around the property and making videos for him, showing him different things that he couldn't do. And uh, yeah, he's an awesome dad. You couldn't, you couldn't get anyone better than that, you know, just awesome dad. And uh, you know, no one's perfect. Everyone has flaws, you know, so. I try to learn from the flaws, work on, uh, you know, diet and exercise and uh, meaning, I don't mean dieting all the time. I mean, uh, making sure I eat vegetables and fruits and, and taking in water. And now I probably have to do the Powerade or Gatorade. I don't care what any other professionals say. I, I'm going to the best professionals. And they're saying that my heart rate's going higher because my electrolytes are low and I need electrolytes. <laughs> you know, I really don't listen to anyone on YouTube because I don't know them and I don't want to get heart problems. So, yeah. So, I think that's about all. It is a really pretty day. It's kind of a little bit gloomy out. Look, the clouds are heavy, but it's really pretty. I'm looking outside. It's a really pretty day, and um, so if you see me wearing a lot of black, you know, that's why. Well, my father passed away. I live in his house. Things aren't certain of where my future is, where I'm going, you know, and uh, I, I really don't know, and it's no one's really business, and, uh, and I will, you know, people say, oh, we should do this or we should do, I'll just say, oh yeah, one day we'll do that. Or That is just a, a blanket response I give, or sometimes I just still leave the comment, a blanket response. No, I'm not going to meet anyone. <laughs> I'm not going to meet any YouTubers uh, in this difficult time, maybe in five years or three or five years if I'm still alive, you know, and I could afford it. I love to go and meet different people, but no, now is not the time to meet people. I'm not really good to be around anyway. Uh, I have to have a soda or something. I have like a soda addiction. I have to so have a soda. Uh, and if I don't have it, I'm really grumpy. <laughs> I'm really quiet or grumpy or just, I'm just to myself. So I'm not good company. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not good company to keep. Um, so I'm just going to stick with, at this time, the professionals and do my own thing. And, uh, people had chance to reach out to me. They just, they just deserted me or whatever, <laughs> abandoned or deserted me. And, uh, boy, they sure are sticking with glue when they want money and they, they want me to buy them things or send them things. And, uh, you know, uh, they just disappeared when, um, uh, I'm having a hard time. <laughs> Go figure. Okay, friends. Well, that's about all. It's very therapeutic to talk. And whoever watches, you know, they can get an insight if they care to. 
It doesn't matter. I do it for me. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.